Uh, I think um, the character of San Diego as a border city, it's a critical part of our identity, right? So I don't think um, you'll see from me any uh, diminishment in that staffing there. I think um, I haven't really seen clarity in what we're trying to accomplish in the border coverage, you know, in the short time that I've been here. It's a little here and there. So I'd like to make sure that team is really thinking through what they're trying to accomplish. And what I think it, you are trying to accomplish? Yeah, how would you like to see it defined? You know, I think I'd, what I'd like to see is an understanding of how in the cross-border relationships, um, what role that plays in our commerce, culture, and identity here in San Diego. So to me, that's the framework for this coverage. We shouldn't try to be a Tijuana uh, outlet, right? We should be about, well, how does this matter to us? And you know what? It matters a lot. And that's why we've got you know, two people full-time to do that. I talked to Rubén Navarrete the other day. Uh, the, we used to work with the union. Okay. That, that, uh, there's flat out racism on the fact that a big percentage of the people who got laid off are either Hispanics or people that cover, cover border issues. I would like to have your opinion because... Yeah, my opinion would be that it's not true. And, and what do you think, I mean, the pers of the people working, how can you convince people that, that the, since the story that the union is doing right now are not exactly um, covering all the aspects of the of the dynamic of the border? Or the dynamic. Yeah, I agree. We are not covering all the aspects. Absolutely not. And, you know, we, we try to do the best we can. Covering all the aspects would be quite, quite a challenge. And I think probably you find yourselves in the same situation. But... Um, no, I disagree that there's some particular uh, diminishment or agenda regarding the border or that coverage in any way. I just think that's uh, absolutely not the case. Do all of you were talking about Tijuana stories that mm -hmm. they have to refer to San Diego and be about the cross-border relationship. Mm -hmm. In your definition of border coverage, is there room for stories that are just about Tijuana that might be interesting or well, yeah, I mean, yes, I think so. I think that's, you know, broadly stated. So as a, a coverage philosophy, I would say, yes, I am looking for an understanding of how this is formative to our community in San Diego. But the specific stories, one by one, are going to, you know, there'll be a great variety, of course. I hear that some of the criticism is that you want to cover Tijuana from a San Diego perspective, you know, from a binational perspective. Do you agree with that? Uh, I think what we don't want to do is cover Tijuana from a Tijuana perspective. And what is different in that sense from the Tijuana perspective and the San Diego perspective? Well, I think you would only need to look at the uh, Tijuana media and the stories that you're covering and uh, the San Diego media and the cover stories that we're covering to be able to de detect, oh, there's a difference, there's a difference in perspective. Now, I think what we're trying to do is say something beyond probably what you guys are doing, how does this work together? What are the, the ties that bind us? What's important here? So that's what we're trying to do. But if you have a, t if, just so I understand, if you have a San Diego Union Tribune reporter who covers Tijuana mm -hmm. and who covers or who covers the financial region, etc., mm -hmm. yeah. how does that perspective differ? How do those Tijuana stories differ from that San Diego reporter covering Tijuana than this cross border? Mm, I'm not sure I'm understanding the question. So you were saying that the coverage coverage of Tijuana differs from coverage of yes. referential, kind of like this binational San Diego, everything sure. like San Diego coverage. So I'm wondering, you're pointing out that Tijuana media covers different things as opposed yeah. to San Diego media. Yeah, and I imagine there would be the same difference the way San Tijuana Diego. media covers San Diego. Right, it's the same thing. If it's a San Diego reporter covering Tijuana, how do you see that as different? I guess I'm trying to draw the parallel. I, I think the same difference would be the way somebody in, in Tijuana media would cover San Diego, right? They would have this perspective of how does this affect my world? What are the important currents that bring us together? What are the issues? What are the controversies? What are the successes? What are the ambitions? Who are the people, right? That's different than how am I covering Tijuana, inside of Tijuana, if I'm a Tijuana reporter. Okay, well, the same thing works across in the other direction. So I think... Did your readers complain about your coverage of Tijuana? 
your, your readers in general, do you think the input that you guys got from them is telling you that you're covering Tijuana from too much of a Tijuana perspective? Ah, uh, no, I mean... Is that relevant? I mean, is, well, I mean, a, I would say these uh, uh, border topics are always hot buttons with a certain slice of the population, so you're always going to hear about it when you're writing about Tijuana or immigration because, you know, there's powerful emotions and, and uh, people with... Um, very de defined points of view. So uh, I think you're always going to hear that no matter what you do. And no, I don't think that's like as big bearing on you, you know what we're to trying Tijuana, to do. Do you go to Tijuana once in a while? Do you have reasons to go to Tijuana? Oh, I go to Tijuana once in a while. I was married in Rosarito. You know, I've spent a lot of time in Baja. I'm not, you know, somebody who's down there every weekend. I was there, oh, maybe back in uh, February. I spent a weekend there, you know. So yeah, I'm somebody who enjoys the area. A couple of things that you would like to see cover in, in, in the new light of what you want to do. Uh, well, you know, something I, I'm interested also in the economy of Tijuana, right? So I don't, I think, you know, Tijuana is one of the great cities of Mexico. And I'm not sure that I really see that reflected in the way we approach Tijuana, right? So I think there is a vibrancy and strength within that city that sometimes is a little lost in the way American media look at it. So, I, I mean, I'd like to see more of that. So going to be covered beyond the drug trafficking, the... the yeah, the and it, yeah, I mean, come on. It's a big, thriving metropolis with a very high income, by the way. You know, there's all sorts of things going on there. So, I mean, I think we can do a better job, if that's what you're asking me. But, you know, if you're asking me, you know, is there uh, some sort of uh, uh, jauntist agenda... No, there's not. That's not. That's not the case at all. That's not what I'm trying to do or who I am. You know. All the media are, are suffering for budget cuts. Yeah, you that's true. A job with, I mean, can you can you see a better job, a possibility, better job with the resources that you are having now? Limited. As well, I mean, we, we right. Case. We want to have focused, productive, energetic, creative people, just like you do, right? So, I mean, the media in general. I don't think there's anything specific in this area. We're all feeling these same pressures. We're all trying to find ways to excel in this area, just like all the others. Do you think many people in the, other, in the south side of the border, on the Mexican side, complain that the coverage is biased against Tijuana? And though some public officials even said that there's some campaign from the media, them included, <laughs> the case, I'm talking about PBS, that they are against Tijuana, trying to scare the tourists away. What do you think about that? I think people think all sorts of things. Thank you. <laughs> thank you okay, thank you, you guys. <laughs>